Do you want to become one of the top players in Fortnite, but you have 80 to 90 ping? Well, you definitely came to the right video. I was a player who played on 80 to 90 ping back then. Right now, you can even say that I'm still on high ping with 30 to 40 in game. In this video, I will be showing you guys three tips that I received from my friends who are tier 3 to tier 2 pros that fight on 60 to 70 ping, while also mixing it up with some of my own tips that I learned the past two chapters on 80 ping. Before we begin, make sure to like and subscribe. Anyways, let's get right into the first tip. The first tip is to don't force any 50-50 plays. The disadvantage that most high paying players have is that they will be a split second late to the action they're trying to do. Make sure to only make 100% plays, only go in boxes if your opponent is low, maintain your distance, look for slip ups, play slow and smart to win more fights. In most cases, taking a 50-50 as a high ping player will technically be a 30-70 play. You have a lower chance of winning a 50-50 play if you are on high ping. That's just how it works. Reed is the perfect example of playing it safe and secure. Even on low ping, he still plays it smart rather than trying to make a 50-50 happen. He trusts his aim, his mechanics, and his reaction time to do it for him. He just needs to be patient. You guys should do the same if you want to win more fights as a player on high ping. The second tip is to avoid making fast edits or highly mechanical plays. Very rarely do you ever need to do a triple edit in a real game. You probably don't even need to do a double edit 90% of the fights you take. Focus on exploits that revolves around your stairs, cone placements, and mastering your aim. If you try to do fast edits in real games on high paying, you'll end up losing and you will look like a bot after the game. Try to master your aim, your cone placements, and certain exploits to still have that small mechanical edge over your opponents. And I know you're thinking that since you can do quadruple edits in creatives on high ping, you can replicate it in real games. However, that is not the case. You get so much more input delay in real games, and trust me, you'll probably miss an edit or two. Rather than focusing on fast edits or building mechanics, try to focus on timing, positioning, and crosshair placement instead. The third and final tip is to play defensive. Now you might be asking me what this means. Basically, you want to master the art of box fighting. Learning right hand peaks, peanut butter edits, and other box fighting tricks will help you in most fights in real games. If I was on high ping, I would spend hours on box fights working on those edits, making sure I don't miss my shots, while also guaranteeing that I have a peak advantage on most of my opponents. This is such an underrated tip, and most players like Reed suggest this play style to most players who are on high ping. If you have mastered box fights, it will be easier to play against good players. You're essentially bringing them into your domain and you want to be able to capitalize on those situations. As much as everyone wants to drop 20 to 30 kills as a player on high ping, it's definitely hard if not impossible to do so. However, that doesn't mean you can't guarantee frags, wins, and points in tournaments if you are on high ping. Just make sure to play the game smart and not make dumb decisions. So that is going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys learned something new from this video and if you did then make sure to like and subscribe. We are so close to 10,000 subscribers and I want you guys to be a part of the journey. Also make sure to join the NXT Discord in the description. This is the closest you can get to interacting with me and I will also be hosting giveaways in this Discord server. Otherwise that's it for me and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.